Where did today's New York style on to basic salsa step really come from? Is it based on an authentic Afro-Latin dance step? And if so, how has it changed over time? We'll take a look at these questions in this video. So welcome back to Salsa Goals and get ready because we're about to break down the basics. Now in our last video, we learned that the modern basic salsa stepping sequence came from the dance of the Cuban song. And we also saw how the direction of the footwork has changed over time. But has the timing also changed? Well, to answer that question, remember that Cuban son dancers mainly used two types of footwork timing. Some preferred to dance a tiempo and others preferred to dance contra tiempo. A tiempo meant that the dancer was mainly marking the odd numbered strong beats or chord beats of the music like this. This is basically the exact same timing that on one salsa dancers still use today, so that much hasn't really changed. However, contratiempo timing meant that the dancer was mainly marking the even numbered weak beats of the music like this. In fact, Contratiempo was actually the first and the original version of dancing to this type of music on 2. So what were the other versions of the basic step on 2 and how did they develop? Well, let's take a look at three more versions starting with version number 2, Classic Mambo. When the Cuban Mambo rhythm became popular in the United States starting back around 1948, the hot spot for Mambo dancing became New York City's famous Palladium Ballroom. However, the stepping pattern for this type of mambo dancing was really based on the footwork of the dance of the Cuban song. And although different mambo dancers at the Palladium Ballroom danced on different beats of the music, some of the best dancers used that same contratiempo footwork timing that the Cuban song dancers did, but with a New Yorican flavor. In other words, those Palladium era mambo dancers also took their most rhythmically noticeable steps on beats 2, 4, 6, and 8. But this time, instead of stepping out to the side, the leader would begin the pattern by immediately taking a long break step forward on beat number 2. This stepping pattern is now known as Power 2 or Classic Mambo. And although Power 2 isn't used as much anymore, it's the basis for the salsa stepping pattern that we still use today. When it comes to the Power 2 basic stepping pattern, we can refer to those break steps on beats number 2 and number 6 as the outside steps, and the other steps on beats number 4 and number 8 as the middle steps. And unlike the Cuban son dancers who would keep moving their body continuously throughout the entire footwork pattern, those classic mambo dancers reportedly would stop their body movement with each middle step on beat number 4 and number 8, giving the stepping pattern a more staccato rhythm. But the timing of that step developed even more with version number 3, the syncopated 2. Some of those palladium era mambo dancers apparently started delaying their middle steps slightly so that instead of landing on beats number 4 and number 8, they landed on beats number 4.5 and, and number 8.5. And this slightly modified stepping pattern can be referred to as the syncopated 2. But like a bridge, this led to the stepping pattern that many use when dancing New York style salsa today, version number 4. The Modern Mambo Step Known as the Mambo King, New York dance instructor Eddie Torres popularized the step known as the New York 2 or the Eddie Torres 2. Here he made a few changes to the stepping sequence. For example, remember that in the Power 2 footwork, the leader starts by taking the break step forward on beat 2 with the left foot. But in the Eddie Torres 2 footwork, the leader starts by taking a middle step first and then taking an outside step to the back with the right foot on beat number 2. Also, those middle steps of the pattern were delayed even more so that the dancer now steps on beats number 1 and number 5. So, as you can see, while on one timing is pretty simple and hasn't changed very much, on two timing can be a little more complex and actually covers at least three slightly different variations. In fact, the timing difference of those middle steps is so subtle that it's easy for dancers to sometimes alternate between a few of these different on two variations during the same song, even without trying to. To make things even more confusing, some New York style salsa dancers and instructors can claim to be using the Eddie Torres 2 timing when their footwork actually matches the syncopated 2 timing. So how can we make sense of these 3 on 2 timing variations and use them easily? Well, we'll answer that question in a future video, where we'll break down an easy way to master the rhythm of each on 2 variation. And if you enjoyed the information in this video, please remember to like and leave a comment below. We will be back very soon with more on two timing tips. And until then, stay safe, stay connected to the music, and above all, keep dancing salsa.